Hey friends, today I'll show you something interesting, how you can use an IFC model as a reference in Blender Beam. In order to do that, we can go here in the project overview in Blender Beam and in the project setup, here, if you look closely, we will have something called links. And here, if we hover on this button, link blend IFC file, you cannot link directly an IFC model here. So you need to load the IFC model and save it into a blend file. And then you can link that file. As you can see in the description that you can read when I hover on this button, this will link the blender file that is synced with the IFC file. All right, so in order to do that, I'll show you a brief example. I will use one of the sample models that I have. In my case, uh, one from Statsbig. I'll use the landscape one. Let's go. I will go here, unload, and I'll go here, and I will take uh, this one. Cool. Now we have it here. Right. After we have it here, the first thing, if you look here, yeah, most of the time we take this kind of uh, models that we have at the base for, uh, for designing our structures, right? Our buildings. So this is, let's say, the starting point, and you don't want to mix this. Let's say you are an architect or an engineer, you don't want to mix this, right? You want to keep this as a reference to work clean and save your IFC model separately, right? You don't want to clutter your model here. Let's say you are a structure engineer, right? Or an architect, it doesn't matter. But you don't want to have in the same IFC file. You want to keep it separate and you want to federate it, right? Afterwards, put it together in another place. All right, so now after we do that, the first thing we need to do is to save this into a blend file. So I will go here and click on save as. Very important to note that not save IFC as or save as IFC. We save as a blend file and I'll go in the same folder and let's say ARC, no, LARC, which stands for Landscape Architecture in Norwegian. And I will click on save. We see the blend is extension as for blender file cool now we go here and i create a new file a new general file and now i go to project setup links and click here and go to my folder and click on this and should be able to see our file right here you can see that it actually loaded pretty quickly and there you have it here is our reference model and now, if we load as normal project, let's say now here you start working, right? This is how you do it. Of course, I'm just showing. Okay, we don't have, because I did not create an IFC model, right? And you can see here, if you see, this is the path to the file and you can do different things here. You can hide it. You can hide it here in the view, which is quite cool, quite neat, right? And you can disconnect it also. You can unload this link. So when you're done with your modeling maybe you don't want to have this as a clutter right or you can have it and i think you can add more the same way here you can choose to, to toggle between different visibilities uh, which is also helpful and here to click to toggle the selectability so now actually oh this is cool actually i also learned something Yahoo! new today so actually yeah that's cool because now you don't click by mistake on it. And this is useful when you are working with your own model. You want this actually to be a, like a copy uh, that is like the reference, right? So let's say that I either can create a project now using the demo library or I can load another model. So let's say that I want to load another model and I want to load the structure model. And let's see how it looks. And if I choose a slab here and I go, yeah, well, there we go. Because yeah, this is the cool part, right? Because I cannot by mistake clicking on the reference model. I can click on the elements that I have right here that are from my model that I loaded. So that's pretty cool actually. And that's how you can do this. And in my case, I have these models, of course, but this is how you load your uh, landscape model and then you start modeling yourself, right? If you're an architect, most of the time, the structural engineer will also get the architectural model first, right? So it will take a little while because I would say the architectural model has some details. It's more complex than the um, structural one because the structural one has the separated reinforcement. The, if we take the reinforcement, then that's completely different. And we can see this, okay. We don't have our reference anymore, I think. I think it got broken. So if we look again here, yeah, it got broken, but now we go back and if we load it, we should be able to see it here. Yes. And there you go. 
that's how you do this pretty neat i would say right this is quite a nice way to coordinate and i really like this that you make unselectable your reference that's pretty neat actually i'm very very happy that i learned about that <laughs> cool stuff guys i hope you like this if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave me a comment about that and i'll catch you up in the next one have a good one